Jenny Ann Agatha is a British actress. She began her career as a child actress in 1964, appearing east of Sudan, Star, and two adaptations of The Railway Children, the BBC's 1968 TV serial and the 1970s film version. She also starred in critically acclaimed film Walkabout and TV film The Snow Goose, both in 1971, for which she won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama. She relocated to the United States in 1974 to pursue a Hollywood career and subsequently appeared in Logan's Run in 1976, Amy in 1981, An American Werewolf in London in 1981, and Child's Play 2 in 1990. Parallel to her Hollywood film roles, Agatha continued to appear in high-profile British films such as The Eagle Has Landed and Equus, for which she won a BAFTA for Best Supporting Actress in a Supporting Role and Riddle of the Sands in 1979. In 1981, she co-starred in Survivor, an Australian adaptation of the James Herbert novel, which was nominated for award as Best Actress in a Leading Role. After returning to Britain in the early 1990s to pursue family life, Agatha shifted her focus to television. In 2000, she appeared in a new adaptation of The Railway Children, this time taking on the role of the mother. She's continued to work steadily in British television drama, and since 2012 has starred in BBC's primetime ratings hit Call the Midwife. She also made a return to Hollywood filmmaking in 2012, appearing in Marvel's The Avengers, and reprised her role in Captain America the Winter Soldier in 2014. Agatha is married with one son. She supports several charitable causes, mostly in relation to cystic fibrosis, a condition from which her niece suffers and was appointed Officer of the Order of the British Empire in 2012 birthday honours for charitable services. Agatha was born in Taunton, Somerset, England. She is the daughter of Catherine and Derek Brodie Agatha, a former British Army officer and entertainment organiser. She was raised Roman Catholic. As a child, she lived in Singapore, Cyprus and Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. She was discovered at Elmhurst Ballet School, a boarding school she attended aged 8 to 16, when a casting agent was looking for a young English-speaking girl for a film. She did not get the part, but he recommended it to the producers of East of Sudan. Agatha came to television audiences as Kirsty in the twice-weekly series The Newcomers. The character was the daughter of a new managing director of Eden Brothers, a fictional firm that was at the centre of the series. Agatha could appear only during school holidays, at this stage of her career, she was listed in the credits as Jennifer. In 1968, she was featured in a lavish, big-budget 20th Century Fox musical star with Julie Andrews as Gertrude Lawrence. In that motion picture, Agatha played Lawrence's neglected daughter, Pamela. Later, she played Roberta in a TV adaptation of The Railway Children and played the same part in Lionel Jeffrey's 1970 version of the film. She followed this with more serious roles in the film I Started Counting in 1969 and won an Emmy as supporting actress for a television role as Thrifa in British television adaptation of The Snow Goose in 1971. Agatha moved into adult roles, beginning with Walkabout in 1971, playing a troubled schoolgirl lost with her brother in the Australian Outback. She auditioned for the role in 1967, but funding problems delayed the film until 1969. The delay, however, meant that Agatha was 16 at the time of filming, which allowed the director to include nude scenes. Among them was a five-minute skinny-dipping scene, which was originally cut from the US release. She said at the 2005 Bradford Film Festival at the National Media Museum that she was shocked by the film's explicitness, but remains on good terms with the director, Nicholas Rogue. Agatha moves to Hollywood at the age of 21, and appeared in a number of films over the next decade, including The Eagle Has Landed, Logan's Run, Equus, for which she won the BAFTA for Best Supporting Actress, An American Werewolf in London, and an adaptation of James Herbert's novel The Survivor. Agatha has commented that the innocence of the character she plays in her earlier films, combined with the costumes and nudity in later adult roles such as Logan's Run, Equus, and American Werewolf in London, were the perfect fantasy fodder. In 1990, Agatha returned to the UK to concentrate on family life and her focus shifted towards British television. 
During the 1990s, she was cast in an adaptation of Geoffrey Archer's novel Not a Penny More, Not a Penny Less, as a scandalous Edina Hatton in the BBC miniseries The Buccaneers, inspired by Edith Wharton's unfinished 1938 book, and made a guest appearance in television series such as Red Dwarf and Heartbeat. In 2000, she starred in the third adaptation of The Railway Children, produced for Carlton TV, this time playing the mother. Since then, Agatha has had recurring roles in several television series, including Spooks, The Invisibles, Monday Monday, The Alan Clark Diaries. In 2012, she returned to her Hollywood career, appearing as a member of the World Security Council in the blockbuster film The Avengers, reprising the role in Captain America the Winter Soldier in 2014. She currently plays Sister Julian in the BBC television drama Call the Midwife. Agatha has appeared in numerous theatre productions since her stage debut in 1970, including stints at the National Theatre in 1972 and 73, the title role in a deviation of Hedda Gabler at the Roundhouse in 1980, and with the Royal Shakespeare Company in 1982 and 83. In 1987, Agatha played the role of Pat Green in the Broadway production of the Hugh Whitmore play Breaking the Code, about computer pioneer Anne Turing. In 1995, she was in an RSC production of Love's Labour's Lost, staged in Tokyo, she is a patron of the Shakespeare Schools Festival, a charity that enables schoolchildren in the UK to perform Shakespeare in professional theatres. In 2008, she guest starred in a Doctor Who audio drama, The Bride of Peladon, and played an outlaw scientist in The Minister of Chance. She has also appeared as a guest character in the Radio 4 comedy, Ed Reardon's Week. Away from most other things she's done, Agatha also appeared on the 1990 prefab Sprout song Wild Horses, speaking the words, I want to have you. At an arts festival in Bath, Somerset, Agatha met Johan Tam, a Swedish hotelier who was the director of the Cliveton Hotel in Buckinghamshire. They married on the 4th of August 1990. Their son Jonathan was born on the 25th of December 1990. Agatha lives in London, has a keen interest in Cornwall and once owned a second home there. She was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2012 Birthday Honours List for Charitable Services. Agatha has been attached to several causes throughout her career. She has been involved in raising awareness for the illness cystic fibrosis, which she believes was responsible for the death of two of her siblings. Her niece also has the disease. At Agatha's suggestion, an episode of Call the Midwife focused on cystic fibrosis. She's also worked in support for charities, in particular the Cystic Fibrosis Trust, of which she's a patron. In August 2014, Agatha was also one of 200 public figures who were signatories on a letter to The Guardian expressing their hope that Scotland would vote to remain as part of the United Kingdom in the 2014 referendum on that issue. With the exception of Call the Midwife, her most recent films include Queen of the Desert and Tin in 2015, and her final film role to date of Sometimes Always Never in 2018. 